Namaste. In today's video, I would try to answer a very commonly asked question. Is metformin safe? With some social media posts floating around, a lot of people have been doubting the safety of most commonly used medicine, metformin, which is widely available by names of Dibeta, Obimet, Glycomet, Glycophage, Gluconom, many brands are there in the market. Today, I'll put forth some important facts which would definitely let you decide the safety and the efficacy of this drug. Metformin was discovered in 1922 that is around 100 years back and it has been used in diabetic practice since the last 50 years after an extensive uh, research. Literally this drug has stood the test of time coupled with diet and exercise. Metformin is the first line drug in the treatment of diabetes. Apart from diabetes, it has been used in a lot of other conditions which are related to insulin resistance and metabolic syndromes like polycystic ovarian disease, infertility. In addition to its glucose lowering effects, metformin has been credited with lowering your blood pressure, your lipid profile or the bad cholesterol levels, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, reducing your insulin resistance and in fact it has been credited with cardiovascular safety as well and lot of studies are ongoing for its effect on longevity and preventing and treating a lot of cancers including breast cancer and colon cancer and it is one drug that is safely used in pregnancy. So what more can I talk about metformin and its safety? If it is used in a pregnancy, that is the benchmark. So the way metformin reduces your blood sugar level is in three mechanisms. One, it improves insulin sensitivity. So how much of our insulin is present in the body, it helps in the effective utilization of this insulin. The second important role of metformin is that it interferes with the glucose absorption at the intestinal level. And the third one being it uh, reduces the production of glucose at the liver. By these three mechanisms, metformin helps you to reduce the blood sugar levels. But the beauty of metformin is that in people with normal blood sugars as well, it doesn't cause hypoglycemia. So since it targets what is called the insulin resistance, it doesn't cause hypoglycemia because it doesn't increase the insulin production. So whatever insulin is there, it helps in effective utilization of it. It doesn't increase the insulin production like some other drugs which are used in diabetes causing hypoglycemia. Uh, so definitely it is a wonder drug. Metformin is one drug which, uh, which has the least interactions with other medications. As I told you, since it is the first line agent in the treatment of diabetes, we actually build the diabetes control by adding on other medications, oral hypoglycemic agents or it can be used with insulin as well in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. It helps in weight reduction as well because it literally restricts calorie intake by giving you a sense of satiety. So it acts in sync with your diet exercise in lowering your uh, blood sugars by lowering your weight as well. Talking about the side effect profile of metformin, generally it is a very safe uh, drug with proven CV safety and safety in pregnancy as well. But certain GI intolerance as in gastrointestinal side effects are observed, especially with very high doses and with immediate release formulations. At times, people experience little bit of acidity, flatulence, some people experience diarrhea, which all could be reduced with proper administration after food as well as dose reduction. So it is very rare that we see any major side effects of metformin. 
coupled with this metformin has been known to uh, kind of impair with vitamin b12 absorption as well leading to vitamin b12 deficiency that also could be tackled with administration of vitamin b12 supplements a couple of years back in us fda had recalled certain brands of metformin claiming that they were adulterated with certain ndma particles which are known to be carcinogenic uh, if consumed in more than permitted amounts so that was not because of the metformin per se it was because of the additives in metformin which were used by certain companies in patients with renal impairment uh, your physician would uh, reduce the dose of metformin accordingly but to prevent something called lactic acidosis but in general metformin is a beautiful drug and if it is prescribed to you by your physician please do take it in the recommended doses so coupled with diet exercise and all the medications prescribed to you beat diabetes take care bye